Hey y'all, let's check out Ethereal City. Hey y'all, so today we are at Ethereal City Noir. This is a Paris themed Sam brought to us by Ethereal City. If you are in Second Life, um, you should not be a stranger to Ethereal City. Ethereal City does have multiple different um, Sams that have different themes to them. I feel like this one has a very romantic yet playful feel to it. I do feel like this would be another great dating spot. It's also a nice um, walking date, if you will. Um, they do provide a trolley that will take you around the entire Sam. So I thought that that was really nice just in case you want to just be able to chit chat more and not really have to walk and talk. You can sit and talk. So you know how I do. Let's do a quick outfit check and then we can go ahead and continue. So I felt like this was giving very much patty. I, I don't know. That's that's the vibe I was going for at least. Is it giving petty or is it giving first lady on a Sunday? You you know what? Don't even answer that. Don't even answer that. Let's check the shoes out and then we're going to go ahead and continue. Because I feel like y'all trying to treat me real quick and I don't appreciate that. So these are the shoes. So let's continue. So around every corner, there's going to be a different experience for you. This little nook I felt was so adorable. They have plenty of places where you can sit and eat, sit and chat and things like that. And I really, really appreciated how they laid everything out and just had separate sections for all of the different vibes. Do you see how everything kind of goes into this reddish type vibe when you get into the more Japanese inspired space? I really enjoyed it. So they do offer rentals here, but you got to get it while they're getting this good. Um, this pied de terre was available a couple days ago when I came back, and it is now rented. So the picture options here are absolutely endless. If you're feeling a little bit more playful, you can come into a space where they have little carousels and things like that. Little ice cream treats and all those beautiful things. I love this little veggie stand. I love little added touches like this. That just makes things a little bit more personable and just that much more different. I love all of the little added touches that they have made for each space. Here you can go into a little restaurant for a little bite to eat. And then they have this super adorable ice cream shop just for something a little bit more relaxed if you are gonna bring a date here or a friend or family. Or you can always enjoy it yourself. Love me some ice cream. They have a beautiful quaint little bakery where you can get some yummy yummy baked goods. They have a little, I guess, sweet bike where you can go and get you a little sweet treat on the go. I really love this, it's so pretty. I have to make a confession you guys i had to break down and go to firestorm because yes black dragon was taking me through it and i just simply could not i felt like the quality was so diminished in the new update i really hope that um the creator fixes that because i really do enjoy black dragon but i'm not willing to compromise the footage so right across the bridge, they do have a more subtle slash playful space for you to enjoy um, either alone or with someone. But a lot of lands I feel like are made specifically. Oh, oh you guys, can you guys see the trolley? I'm going to catch that trolley at some point in time. Um, the lands, you can kind of feel the vibe of the land and say, okay, you know what, this would be better for couples and things like that. Or at least that's how I come to my conclusions on who I feel the land is better suited for. So they have this beautiful Victorian themed manor and we visited manors like this before in some of my earlier Second Life videos. Um, so if you are into Victorian themed homes and things like that or Victorian themed manors or designs, I definitely would recommend checking this space out. So there's nothing more than I love than a little quiet, quaint space. And this right here just really did it for me. It's so beautiful. It's such a small little space, but you can come and sit and relax and just clear your mind of things and have a little swing and take some cute pictures. 
You guys, there's so much more to see here at Ethereal City Noir, but I'll leave the rest of the exploring up to you. So as always, if you like this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.